Hi, this is Mitch Mitchell. I want to first begin by letting you know that this is not a white shirt. This is actually a yellow shirt, but the lights in my room are making it look white. I don't own any white shirts. I just don't. So don't think, hey, wait, Mitch is wearing a white shirt. I'm not. However, you can't see any wrinkles on this shirt, so I'm not really mad at it. Second, this hat here was given to me at the end of my consulting gig in Memphis. This was supposed to be a gag gift because, as you can see, it lights up. <laughs> and, it, you know, I, did, I never even knew anything like this existed. Yet, it has turned out to be very valuable because I take my glasses off when I work on certain things to get close, and sometimes it's a little dark, so I can turn this light on and I can see things wonderful now. So this actually turned out to be very helpful. So I'm thankful for, to the folks who gave this to me. But that's not what this video is about. So I'm going to take the hat off now. The video is about my attempt the other day to run a Facebook ad. Now, if you have a page on Facebook, a business page, and I have one, it's called T.T. Mitchell Consulting Incorporated, which highlights my healthcare slash leadership part of my business, um, you can you know, put certain things on there and they give you an option to boost your post. You know these days that Facebook is basically limiting how many people can see your stuff uh, they say, you know, they're just sending it to the people who actually want to see it based on their behavior and habits. But I'm thinking, well, you know, these people signed up for it, so they should be allowed to get it. But OK, fine. So what you can do is you can boost it by paying Facebook a certain amount of money and they will tell you how many people they're going to try to boost it to. Now, I don't know how they make these determinations all that well, but you know, I decided I would give it a shot. I wanted to see what would happen. So I went in at the minimum of $5. Not really sure what that was going to do for me, but I went in for $5. And after you pay your money, you can go to another page where you can try to customize it in some fashion, but I'll tell you the truth, I didn't understand any of it. And I don't have a copy to show you because I'm not doing it again. I wasn't even sure I was going to do a video about it. But I just wanted to kind of talk about it some. So anyway, I did this thing. And I did it late at night because I have this bad habit of doing things later at night. Like, you know, 11.30, 12, 12.31 in the morning. <laughs> this is just what I do. Instead of doing it during the day so that I can really see what's going on with it. But I did it late at night. And so I put it out there. And after about an hour, I went to check, and none of the money had been touched. And I said, well, okay, I don't know what this is supposed to do. Actually, I just thought they just took all of the $5, and then they just put it out there. I really wasn't sure what would happen. And I guess what happens is that an ad shows up in the stream of people who are hooked to your page. And so those folks can decide if they see it, that they want to click on it and go. So by the time my five bucks had been used up, because you know they were going to use it all, I eventually got up to 150 people who saw my particular post. Uh, actually, I think it was 158 because I had a certain number of people who had already seen it beforehand. And I had to think about it because even though it showed this 158 people who actually saw the post, none of the people clicked through. Basically, it was a tale that I was telling about my great-grandmother and how she did this leadership thing for me by, you know, coming to the school with my mother because there were a whole bunch of kids who wanted to kill me. <laughs> and I'm linking to the story here if you want to go read it on Mitch's blog. That's my business blog. And if you don't, then, you know, you don't have to, but I'd really like you to if you even watch the video. Anyway, um... So I put it on there, and I really wanted people to go see it, and I put the preamble in it. And I checked my Google Analytics, and almost nobody came from the Facebook page. So a couple of people liked it on the Facebook page, but it didn't really tell a story there. So I said, well, geez, I didn't really get what I wanted out of it. And I mentioned that to a friend of mine who then said, well, those things really don't ever work because they don't go beyond the audience you already have. So, for instance, if you're hoping to increase the number of people to your page, it won't work because it didn't go to any of those people. Even though it's basically a public page, it's still a business page. Facebook is going away from that type of thing, going to more of the group pages, so to speak. And so, you know, you're kind of stuck. Uh, I'm of the opinion that probably within, well, this year, this next year, they're going to pretty much phase out business pages or pretty much just ignore them 
and people are going to have to, you know, somehow subscribe to them in a certain way. You know, if you happen to be in media, you can easily drive people to your Facebook page. Or if you have a local store where you can give away coupons, you might be able to drive some people to your page. But for the rest of us, it's going to be hard. I'm at 350 people. I've been pretty much set at 350 people. And I don't know how I'm going to get any more people to come to the page. I just don't. And so at a certain point, I just may say, you know, I don't know if I'm going to keep this going. I, you know, I don't know. But I wanted to see if this Facebook page, you know, uh, ad thing might get more people to come to the page and might get them to click and go. And truthfully, I don't know that the ad actually meant that they came to the page. I really don't know. I did read something beforehand, and it just said something about advertising. And they give you this thing when you're on your page that says how many people saw it. But I don't know if that actually means that people came to the website and saw it or if it just showed up in their stream. So I would probably have to say that to me it's a bust. I don't know why anyone would really want to pay for that. Now, maybe I'm wrong. So if someone out there has actually run a successful Facebook ad campaign for their business page or fan page, whatever way you want to call it, and you did something special, let me know. But for me, I can't see me ever doing this again. So, one of my short videos, Facebook ads, not, not ever again. Anyway, Mitch Mitchell, y'all take care.